my god, it stinks so bad. Oh my god, unroll your window. Unroll it. It stinks in here. Unroll it. Roll down the window. Good morning. Welcome to our beautiful campsite. It is just incredible here. We're in the desert and we're going to be here for a couple days looking for trilobite. So we're going rock hounding. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. So we got here yesterday evening and it took everything in me not to get my headlamp out and start looking for trilobite. Trilobite are like 500 million year old fossils. They are so cool. I've never found any. So it was easy to get out of the tent because we're just really excited. So that's what we're doing today on this trip. But first is of course going to be coffee. <laughs> you do it now. <laughs> ah! uh. Got the coffee and we're just gonna go on a little scouting mission just look around not get too into it yet these are all of the rock counting tools that we have so far slowly acquiring new things as we realize we need them safety glasses essential this is something nick actually got me for christmas last year it's so nice i love it i have scoped it out i've had some coffee it is time to get serious. <laughs> just like the excitement and the anticipation is just, woo! Nick has been patiently waiting for me. Do I look like a rock hounder? <laughs> I look like I should know what I'm doing probably, but I don't. We found a little tiny remnant of one, so I think we're on the right track. Here we go. You found one! Whoa! This is Nick's spit on here. Very cool, very cool. Wow! Can you see that? We found the first one! So cool! Are you excited? You found another one? What in the heck? I think there's lots of them here. What? Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. Let's see if you can see this. They're like tiny little... Look what we just found! What? One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? So we started looking around at just the surface. No digging, no like splitting shale open. Nick found a tiny, tiny one that's pretty intact. But I found a ton of pieces that are still really cool, but nothing whole. I also found this, which kind of looks like a crystal of some sort. 
but I think we're gonna go get some lunch because I'm so hungry, but I'm so excited that I just, I can't stop looking. <laughs> But I think we are going to force ourselves to take a break, have some lunch, and then come back and look at just like the surface and see if we get lucky finding a whole one that is pretty thick. I have heard from a very helpful man at a rock shop on our way out here yesterday that the thicker they are, the more valuable they are. And that kind of makes sense. I don't know. I'm just excited to find them. Nick, show us the tiny one that you found. It's so tiny. What? I'll flip it over. Oh, that's so good. That's what I found. All right, that so one. here's this one. Yeah, tiny. Crusty fingers. Yeah, your fingers are crusty. Trilobites were around before the dinosaurs. Did they? They went extinct before the dinosaurs, right? Yeah. Yeah. That blows my mind. And there are so many different species Ugh. of them and they're found all over the world. So they're just really cool. In the rock shop that we went to yesterday, there was a poster of all these different species of them. And I feel like I should know more about them than I do. Anyway, here before the dinosaurs, it is so wild to wrap my mind around that, that time, like the concept of time like that. And the fact that we can find these more than 500 million years later, and there's still so much detail in them. That's the part that just blows my mind is the level of detail that these things have. This is like one of my favorite days ever. Should we go get some lunch? Yeah. I'm so hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these little ones I found. This one is not full, but these guys are intact. Okay, we're done looking for a trilobite for the day. I am having a hard time being done because it's just so addicting and you find just enough to like keep you going. It is surprisingly very tiring rock hounding because you just don't realize how much you're moving throughout the day and also how much you're like standing up and sitting down and standing up and like climbing up steep little hills. And so we're both kind of tired and ready for some dinner have my Dutch oven tools laid out and ready to go. And then this is an awesome fire pit for cooking. Look at how fun this is. I love cooking this way. Got the tripod and we're gonna be making a delicious rice and beans meal in the Dutch down, oven. Look around. This already looks so good and it still needs to cook. All the rice needs to cook in here. But now it's just gonna go back over the flame and simmer for about 30 minutes.
timer just went off. I'm gonna take it off the heat and see how it looks. Both of us are really hungry, so I'm pretty excited for this. Be hard working so you can be deserving of the rest that you are given. Choose. 